Sialkot has become a hub for factories that make sports equipment. So much so that one company here has the sole rights to produce the official soccer balls for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. During the World Cup, the demand increases from our regular customers and by association. We also get new customers as well. And more orders mean factory workers are very busy. Whenever World Cup comes around, we get a lot of work, more orders, we have to give more time, salaries double, we get great wages. We make around 40 million soccer balls in a year, but in a World Cup year, we easily reach approximately 60 million. South Cup exports roughly 200 to 250 million dollars in footballs alone during the World Cup. So not surprisingly, factory workers here feel a sense of pride as they watch the World Cup matches. When the soccer ball made by us with our own hands is used in the World Cup matches, we get very happy. With so many sports equipment factories in Sialkot, competition is fierce. You have to work hard, you have to communicate with customers and negotiate prices, and only then can you win contracts. Child labor has been linked to some of these factories in the past. But according to a local representative of the Independent Monitoring Association for Child Labor, or IMAC, companies are working diligently to please their clients and make sure their factories meet international standards. Factories make the FIFA licensed balls and many make quality balls, so it is very important for them to become IMAC members. Their clients no longer look just at factories' child labor rates. They also want to make sure they are socially responsible. The global attention on the World Cup series has been a boon to Sialkot's sports equipment industry. Business is booming, unemployment is low, and people are moving here from other parts of the country to take advantage. Some say it's too bad that the World Cup happens only once every four years. For Saman Khan in Sialkot, Pakistan, this is Bejan Hamdard, VOA News.